Hey, Jeff, thanks for joining me. Hey, Steve. Hey, we had a big move by the uh, Fed, at least as Fed moves go, um, a full half point cut, 50 uh, basis points in the Fed funds rate. Uh, mortgage rates uh, really had kind of uh, dropped ahead of that, kind of had already priced it in, so we didn't see too much of a move in rates uh, after that cut. But rates are down for the year. Um, they're getting more to some of the lower levels they were at last year uh, for uh, mortgage rates. And it does seem to be helping housing somewhat. Uh, some of your thoughts just on uh, the Fed cutting rates coming down a bit and what the implications are for uh, for real estate. Um, look, I think there's a, there's probably a lot that comes out of this, but um, I think one of the first things specific to what you're asking is what happens to housing rates? I'm sure they come down, but does that naturally mean a positive for the you know for the uh, the the home buyers? Um, you know that'll remain to be seen. I think partly that's because you know most people don't really you know kind of watch rates and understand what happens. Typically, when you know some of these housing moves in terms for pricing coming down is because interest rates have been higher, so people you know to be able to afford them have had to. Uh, you know, they've had to decrease the, the cost of, of housing. I think you, you may see a, a marginal increase in the cost of housing from the side of cost of uh, home buying. Um, but, you know, that remains to be seen. You know, I think the other side is in, in the world where we do a lot of or transact a lot is, you know, even though there's been a 50% rate reduction, you know, we, we're in the middle of, you know, buying and refinancing and, um, you know, even though Freddie Mac is sh is showing and saying that it's down from 7.2, those rates were already dropping down, and now they're actually because they've had an influx of people trying to refi since rates are dropping, that rates you know internally are, are being raised, so they're not as low as as what people are expecting right now. Yeah, I think right now a 30-year mortgage rate is um, it's edging towards six, but it, it's still at maybe uh, six and a quarter, maybe maybe a little bit below yeah. six and a quarter, but but in general, it's kind of that neighborhood. And yeah, it's it's positive that they're lower. It's definitely helping things, but but there's a lot of issues here, right? We've seen um, it's, people are really focused on residential housing. The prices are still very high. Um, there's other things that have gone into costs. I mean, the building costs are still high. Um, you're still looking at insurance costs have gone up. This doesn't really impact that. And, and we've talked about the golden handcuffs. People who have really low fixed rates are going to be less likely to move. So it doesn't help. Yeah. Is it a panacea? Does, does it really make uh, things uh, all of a sudden affordable for people? No, no. And, and it's, you know, just not likely to see that. Um, but maybe if we get continued cuts, moves, move, move further, we can see housing become a little bit more of a positive for the economy rather than a drag. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, sorry, I didn't, I didn't yeah. mean to cut you off. No, no, go, go ahead. No, I, you know, I was, I was going to add to it. Um, you know, I, I, you know, th this might be one of those, um, you know, those tipping points for people who are just kind of sitting on the edge of, you know, a quarter point, you know, 50 basis point move is, is something that, you know, somebody has got a growing family needs to get into a, you know, a larger house or do something because, you know, whether or not the time's right, um, it's just something that they can do, and then potentially a year's time down the road can refinance to a lower rate anyway. So you may see some influx of new buyers, but uh, you know I, I don't think it's like to your point. I don't think it's going to be a this massive tipping scale where it's going to impact uh, buying overall. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we'll obviously kind of keep a keep an eye on this. Um, certainly, higher interest rates than what we saw before COVID have impacted the market. But in terms of housing affordability for residential, like we mentioned, um, there's more variables going on than just this. Um, well, so, I, I, mean, I, yeah. I mean, to your point, I, I think the, the other major uh, people or major um, variable people have got to consider is, you know, is the election, right? Like, is this rate cut political or is it just a, you know, just because? And the other side is, do I really want to buy something right now? And there, there could be a, a changing of the guard. Yeah, I, I think that that's a good point. And even if it's not political, th there's always the chance that if something happens, um, we could see rates go in the reverse direction. I mean, certainly right now the trend's downward. Um, but if there's some sort of supply shock or something comes out um, to affect things, some sort of global unrest, I and mean, we've already, you know, got things kind of cooking in the Middle East. <laughs> um, yeah. I, you know, all of a sudden people are worried about their beepers. 
um, just as, but, you know, um, you know, the world's a little bit of an unsettled place. Uh, things could always happen. And, um, but right now it looks like, you know, inflation's moderating. We should have a path to where we see some continued easing. That should be good. But as, as with anything, um, nobody's crystal ball is a hundred percent. Um, but knock on wood, hopefully we continue to see some easing. Hey, thanks for the, uh, insights jeff if you like the big give us the thumbs up uh comment let us know uh what you think uh where rates are going impact on housing and visit selectfincap.com and get on our list for our free real estate newsletter and also an opportunity to look at future commercial real estate investment opportunities with us thanks a lot thank you